Hey guys, it's Rune Punks. Today I have a quest guide for you on the quest Darkness of Hollow Vale. For this quest, you need at least level 5 construction, level 26 agility, level 40 strength, level 22 thieving, level 20 mining, level 32 crafting, and level 33 magic. You also must have completed the quest in aid of Marek. Requirements for this quest are 8 nails, I brought steel nails, 2 planks, just regular planks, a hammer, a knife, which apparently can be obtained during quest, but I'm playing it safe, an air rune, or in this case I brought an air staff because I want to use it later for teleporting, a law rune, again I brought more for teleporting, and... That's it. It's recommended to bring teleports to go to Varrock and to this place, Berg de Rot. I don't have any teleports with me that will bring me directly here, but I'm using my Draymond staff to use fairy rings and teleport to here and run down through Morton. It's also recommended to bring some food. We do not have to kill anything, apparently, but we do have to get in a fight with something that can kill us. So to begin this quest, go to Berg de Rot and go downstairs in the pub. And once you're down here, talk to... Veliaf hurts. Ask him, is there something I can do to help out? Yes, please tell me more. And make sure to ask him every option. So now we have started the quest. All right, now we head back up. Now we've got to go southeast and look for a boat. Here's the boat. So we search the boat. We find out that we need to fix the boat. So use your planks on the boat. Now we're gonna go look at the boat chute. And we want to use our other plank on that. And now that we have fixed them both, we want to push the boat and board it.
step out of the boat and jump onto the rocks, climb up, and these viral watches, whatever they are, can, uh, I guess they can take six hit points from us. Or we can let them attack us. Or we can try to distract them, but um, I guess that only works sometimes. And if you fail, then they will take your hit points anyway. That, uh, de it depends on your thieving level, how successful you are with that. So once you get the floorboard squeaking message in your chat box, hit kick down on the floor and make your way down, down the... So once you're down here, we just need to walk north a little ways and climb over the wall. Speak with some of the locals and ask them all the questions you can. Eventually one of them will tell you to go talk to old man Ral and he might help us. So once you've heard about old man Ral, you should start asking around and see if anyone can introduce us to old man Ral. They'll tell us that old man Rao lives in town. Now we need to go find him. He lives in the center of the town. So when we get to him, we want to ask him about the Marek. And we need to tell him that someone said he could help us. Say Old Man Rao the Sage of Sanguineski. Now he's willing to help us. Old Man Rao told us to follow the symbols. Now we want to go to the house southwest of him and climb up the ladder. Once you're up here, you need to jump south to the floorboards. east of the floorboards and then come up here to the northeast corner of the room and push this wall go across here once you're across go under the wall And head over into the next room and push this wall down. Once you push the wall down, cross the floor. And once you're in this room, go down the ladder. Once we're down here, we want to search the table. And we're going to find a trap door that we want to open and we want to go under. Once you're in here, you want to climb up the shelf in the corner. And now 
we want to go under this wall. Now we have to jump from here over to these floorboards. And head down the ladder. Now we want to go over to where the eastern door is and search the pots and we will get a key. Use the key on this door and then we're going to go into the house to the east. And climb up the ladder. Once we're here, jump south over the floorboards. And then go east. And then south a little bit west. Now jump up the shelf and head up this ladder. Once we're up here we want to jump south to the floorboards and then climb up this er, climb down this ladder. Now we want to head east and go across the washing line. Now we want to climb down the ladder. And we're going to push this wall. Then we're going to cross. And we're going to climb up the shelf. Oh, now we want to climb down these shelves. Jump over to these floorboards to the north. And then again jump the floorboards to the north. And now we're going to jump to the floorboards to the east. Well, to the northeast. Now we're going to jump the floorboards to the northeast. And we're going to climb up this ladder. have to repair this ladder so search the wall after you get the top of the ladder head back down the ladder and we're going to repair this ladder <coughs> now climb down the ladder open the door we need to head northwest to this house with the fireplace in it. Once you're in the house, head into this west room. And head north a bit. So once you get to where the sickle sign is, you want to head east through this little passage. And then head into this house with the ladder and go up it. Jump over these floorboards to the east and then you have to climb downstairs on the ladder. Now we have to go southeast and search the wall. Use your knife on the wall. Once you've used your knife on the wall, 
push the wall. Press on the decorated wall. And then open the lumpy rug. Climb down. Head through the underground until we find someone named Vertida Cephalitis. He's going to give us a message to bring back to Valley Affertz, who we started the quest with. So, say, I was asked to make contact with the Marek. He'll give us the message and make sure you say every option just to be safe. Now we need to make our way back here. Okay, so once you're back here, head back down into the pub. And back down into the trapdoor. Show the message to Veliaf. And say we have a message for him. And ask him what he wants us to do. And he wants us to go see King Rold. Make sure to ask about everything just in case. So now we have to talk to Drezzle and King Rold. I'm going to talk to King Rold first in Verak. So talk to him about Mauritania. And now we need to go talk to Drizzle. Make your way from here in Verak over to the temple. So once you reach the temple, you want to talk to Drizzle. And he'll tell us that he's been hearing strange noises. And that he wants us to go look around. We will say, did you hear the sounds as well? When and where were these sounds heard? And then we say, okay, thanks. Head out the temple back out to the west. And once outside, head southwest. Now head down the stairs and there should be a bush right here that we can search. Now we have to head back in and talk to Dressel about what just happened. So tell Dressel that you were attacked.
And now we need to head back to King Rold and Varrock. Before you leave Varrock, head to your bank and get your best armor to protect against melee. Talk about Mauritania. Just click through all the dialogue. Make sure to ask everything. and accept his teleport to get back to Drizzle. Once we're here, we need to speak with Drizzle and tell him what King Rold told us. Now we need to head back to Berg de Rot and speak with Veliev Hertz again. So speak with him and tell him everything. Now we need to head back to Maradich, so make your way back to the boat. So just do what you did before. If one of the Virewatches talks to you, you can tell them to send you to the mine. And if you go to the mine, you can mine 15 rocks and they will let you out and you will be where you need to be instead of having to go through the rooftop course. Just speak with one of the miners to get a pickaxe. Mine 15 of the rocks and put them into the uh, mine cart one by one. And after you've done 15, they'll let you out. Once you've filled the cart, talk to the guard. All right. So just head south from here until you find the house with the trap door.
Okay, and once you're back down here, you want to head through and talk to Vertita again. Talk to him about Cephalon. you say every option. Say okay, lead the way. Once you're here, go back down the ladder and make your way out of the house. Head southeast and then head to the west. Climb over this wall. Okay, once you head back up here, you want to head north. And once you reach this ladder that you can go down, go down. Once you're down here, search the rocks. Now you can go through this door. Now head north. Head up the ladder. Head north on this wall. And go up the ladder. Go down the ladder, keep going north, Okay, talk to him. Tell him everything. Now just go through all the options with him. Now we need to head west. <sighs> then north.
and then east. Once you get to the silver sickle, stand on it and use your charcoal on your papyrus. Now head west. Make your second sketch on the sickle logo. Keep heading along the side of the castle and make your way to the south side right here on this sickle logo. And we will be attacked when we try to make our third drawing. So now Put on protect from melee. Now make sure to talk to Sirius Guile, and she will tell us about the secret laboratory. Now don't forget to head back over here and make your final drawing before we leave. Now we need to make our way back to the underground base, so take either method back to the underground base, either climbing the rooftops or going to the mining camp. I'm going to go to the mining camp. And once you are there, I will resume. Okay, once you make your way back down here, go and talk to them in the far room. Speak with Cephalon. And tell him you have the sketches for him. Say all the options. and then head back outside. Once you're out, push through the wall again and go up these stairs. Jump across the rooftops. And go down the ladder. Now exit the house to the north.
Once you exit to the north, you just want to loop around the house and find the house that has the fireplace in it. And we want to look at the fireplace. After you've looked at the fireplace, use your knife on it. While you're here, also use your knife on this portrait. Search the portrait and take the key. Now head back to the underground base and give it to Cephalon. Once you've given him the message, leave the base and head back out. Now we're going to head north. Once you're here at this building with the tapestry, we need to go inside. Once inside, use your knife on the tapestry. And now head into this room. Use your key on the vampire statue. Now we have found the secret entrance. Now head over here and use telekinetic grab on this book. Now we have to head back to Safalon one last time. So just head back outside and travel south until you get back to the house and then go through to his lair. So we talked to Safalon for our one last time and he's going to give us a couple things in exchange for the book. We're going to get a shortcut key, which should make it easier getting around these parts if we ever need to again. And also this sealed message for Veliaf, who we have to go back to now. So we'll get back to Berg de Rot and head down to the pub and we're going to finish the quest. Alright, so we speak to Veliaf now and finish the quest. Just give him the message. Alright, so we got two quest points, 7k agility XP, 6k thieving XP, 2k construction, and three chapters, um, 2k XP in each, er, in three skills. So that's pretty good. Okay. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video and if it helped you out.